very much like Word in terms yep. of being able to edit. So here we're going to bold um, enjoying this class. We want to italicize it. Um, actually, yeah, this is good. If you want to so, add a picture, you know, just it's just all point and click. Reasons for um, dang it. Reasons for using WordPress. So we're going to add a little bullet. Um, easy. Do it, do it yourself, DIY. No programming needed. Okay, we've now added a little bullet list. I want to update. So I've already published this once. I wanted to add more information to it. I go back out to my website. Whoops. By Arizona. And I'll go back into my, my post. And there is what I just added. Reason for using WordPress. Easy to do it yourself. No programming needed. Um, this gives you one of the things about so if you don't know if you don't know code and you want to, don't want to know code, you can stay in the visual tab. In the HTML tab, for those of you who are code uh, code freaks, I call myself a code freak because I like playing in code. I can I can click over to the HTML tag and I can go look at what I did with the code. Um, if you're learning and just getting into using WordPress, I think it's a great way to learn how to code. Because if you know code, you can actually do more things with your site. Uh, but go look at what you, every time you do something, go look at it and see what it looks like. And then you, that's how we, that's how I've learned over the years. Um, I believe that's it for what we want to show on uh, doing a post. Why don't you show about you know, how easy it is to put a picture in? Okay. Um, select files. So I want to I stock photos and so here I am. I'm just going to pick this picture here. This is the AZ Home for Sale. I hit open. It's uploading. I want to put a title on it. Uh, again, the title is the mouse over. Um, I want to put an alt tag. Uh, alt tag is an important uh, element of search engine optimization. So I always just take my uh, what I do for title, I copy it, I put it in the alt tag. Um, I can do a caption. I'm going to do the same caption actually. Oops. And I'm going to justify it to the right. I want to make it. Yeah, this uh, this is the size of it. I can make it full size. I can make it a thumbnail. I can move it around at different locations, and I want to insert it into the post. So now I come back, and there's my picture. Um, I don't really like the picture there. I want it over here, or I want it at the top of the page. But actually, let's go look at it so we can see we, what we just did. So I updated it. I go back to my post. I'm going to refresh. There's my picture. Arizona Home for Sale. I mouse over it. Arizona, Arizona Desert Home for Sale. Now I want to move my picture. So I'm going to go, I'm actually doing this a different way <laughs> than what you would do, control V. Now I've moved my picture, I update it, I go look at my, my post, and voila, I've changed it. And now, now I, actually the picture is too big, so I click on it. I can drag down the size. It resizes. WordPress is a great resizing tool for photos. Uh, there's some other tools inside that you can use for, uh, work, for working with uh, photos, which WordPress is great about. So I update it. 
I come back over here, refresh, and now my picture is smaller. So it's awesome, very quick to add, um, very quick to add a um, photo. Dave, do you have any, um, you know, what we didn't do is embed a video, could embed a video, but it's embedding okay. a video it, is it works the same. the same thing. You just uh, shove your code in. On a video, though, you're going to, well, it's, it's very similar, and it's uh, just about as, as simple as point and click as well. So that's the post. Uh, that's how it, easy it is to update a post. One of the great things about WordPress is when you uh, write a post, WordPress has a feature in it. Uh, very few people know about it, but it's called Update Services right here. This service basically every, uh, sends an outbound message from your website to a bunch of different services on the Internet that says, hey, I've now issued new content on my website. This is how Google knows that you are... Uh, that you have something new to index is it sends a it sends a note to Google that says hey I've just posted a new post come look at it Google sends out a spider they look at what your post is and it gets indexed rather quickly so indexing means it gets put into the Google um, the, the huge Google catalog of website pages um, so that's a great service for WordPress not a lot of uh, websites static websites for sure do not have that service uh, blogging, blogging software packages do have that service, and WordPress is very good about it as well. So that is how you do a post. Um, back to our demo, back to our slideshow. So what's next? Uh, yeah, this was a quick 30-minute conversation about uh, WordPress, how to add content into WordPress, some of the just the, you know, why you need search engine optimization for your website. Uh, what's next? We have an advanced WordPress training class that's going to go on on Tuesday uh, from 10 to 1. Uh, we're charging $99 for that. It'll be Dave and myself doing that class, and we'll get into more specifics about working inside your WordPress uh, website. You'll, you'll also, come out of that one being a pro. Yes, and you'll you'll actually be working live on a website in that in that classroom. Um, and then we're doing an, an event or an SEO training class. On February 11th, that's also a three-hour class. The price for that is $149. And, of course, we're always available for website consults. Uh, we build websites. We help the owners do the SEO, and we help you market them. Um, let's see. I believe that's all we have. So uh, I'm going to unmute everyone. If anybody has any questions, we'll stay as long as you want. So this is the end.